Hi, I'm Jovi Jenkins, Director of Product Strategy at SPT LabTech, and today I'm excited to tell you about a new product accessory that we're launching to complement the Dragonfly Discovery instrument. This is the Auto Feed Reservoir, or AFR for short, and what that allows users to do is take the reservoir feed offline from the instrument and have it automatically pumped to a small set of ports beneath the tips for aspiration and dispensing without any human need to refill or replenish the manual reservoirs. This allows users to take reagent bottles offline, but also it allows for offline control of the reagent itself. So you could have stirring, shaking, cooling, any, anything you may wish to do with the reagent offline. And in addition to that, it's a fully enclosed fluid path. So for handling solvents, the Autofeed Reservoir has a recirculation feature where liquids are continuously pumped around the system. Things like suspensions of cells and beads can also be handled and the recirculation keeps those items in suspension in the carrier fluid until such time that they're aspirated by the dragonfly and then dispensed. Viscous liquids can also be pumped through the Autofeed Reservoir system. Recently we had an example where we actually used heated agar um, to get it to a liquid Form and then automatically aspirate and dispense with the Dragonfly Discovery. Other applications where this can be really useful is in high throughput screening where multiple plate runs will be required. In this case, liquid can be continuously pumped in a recirculating fashion to the auto feed reservoir port on the Dragonfly. Um, multiple aspirations can be taken to run multiple plates. So for high throughput screening, it opens up the possibilities to do hundreds of plates in a screening run without any human intervention. Another feature of the auto feed reservoirs is that they can actually be used in conjunction with the standard manually fed reservoirs by placing this holder tray on top. I can now add either a standard reservoir or a low dead volume reservoir to the tray and use them in conjunction with the auto feed reservoirs. This is really useful if you have a very scarce amount of a precious reagent, you'd like to use the very low dead volume reservoir in conjunction with a bulk reagent where you would want to pump it through the auto feed reservoirs.